We'll move on to our next story. So a Dubai community is flagging the lack of seating for security guards. Now, the residents of a gated community in Dubai noticed that the security cabins at the entrances and exits no longer had chairs. So the shifts for security guards can go from a few hours to 10 or even 12 hours. So imagine being forced to stand for that long. So in this story, many residents actually uh, shared what was going on with Love in Dubai. They basically wanted to raise awareness on the matter. Now, they'd already emailed the the uh, the. community developers um, to raise awareness on the subject. Um, One resident who wishes to remain anonymous said that they had actually even offered uh, the security officers some chairs. Um, She said that they were worried they would get in trouble, so the security uh, officers politely declined. Another resident said that if the security guards uh, were to bring their own chairs, um, they would also get in trouble. Um, So therefore, they were led to get in touch with us to share the story. So the company that is behind it, um, like the community reached out and the manage, uh, to the management services and this is what they shared in a statement. So good afternoon, thank you for the message and we appreciate your concern for our security guards in the community. Please rest assured that the management cares for the well-being of the staff within the community, including the guards. All security cabins have air conditioning, water dispensers, suitable chairs and all requirements of operations are performed as per SIRA regulations. Relievers are also available for the guards to take breaks as and when needed. So the developer also sent Love and Dubai the exact same statement in the last 24 hours. No doubt this is a developing story because we have uh, residents sending us in little messages um, from the community. So it's great to get that response from the community developers. It shows that there are specific processes that should be placed. Um, Maybe there is a discrepancy. Um, So hopefully uh, we're going to get a positive feedback from the people who shared us the original messages uh, saying that yes, there are chairs in place and yes, they're taking the... uh, a lot of t- time to sit down because 12 hours on your feet is just uh, not comfortable for anyone. Um, but it was great to get that response from the community to show that they are aware and there should be processes in place. Yeah. So let's make sure that those processes are actually being followed through with. Very true. But one brilliant thing to take away from the story is that we go about our like day-to-day lives just so focused on ourselves, focused on our issues, our problems. So the fact that community members have actually even noticed this and they've highlighted like this is what's going on, like there are no chairs, you know, like it actually takes a certain level of observation to see that, like, you know, they're uncomfortable, like, you know, we're passing by them every single day and they have nowhere to sit or whatever it is. It's like the fact that they highlighted this, that the, uh, the fact that they're taking, strongly trying to take action against what they think is wrong, it's just... incredible like an incredible initiative by community members 100 and i think it started with facebook conversations and now it's brought us to here um, another incredible and um, out